Amazon has soared in market share during the global pandemic. Never before has it been so easy to browse such a diverse range of products and have them delivered in record time. It's no secret that Jeff Bezos has made over $100 billion since the COVID-19 outbreak and is well on his way to becoming the world's first trillionaire. Now it's looking more and more likely that the service that Amazon prides themselves on is going to become faster and much more efficient. With the Federal Aviation Administration approving operation of a fleet of delivery drones, cleverly named Prime Air. If it's good news across the board, why do idiots hate the idea so much? On a more serious note, what is it with people hating on drones? It's a complex issue that involves everything from the invasion of privacy to ruffled jimmies and everything in between. So let's take a look at what we'll be expecting to see from Amazon's fledgling Prime Air fleet, as well as the imbecilic arguments against the use of drones for speedier deliveries. Going airborne. Amazon unveiled the latest version of its Prime Air delivery drone last year at the Mars Machine Learning, Automation, Robotics and Space Conference. The drone design was top-notch, a rugged, durable frame with six high output motors married up with revolutionary rotor design. The drone itself is capable of vertical takeoffs and landings like a helicopter, but is streamlined in such a way that the wings give aerodynamics and lift in a similar way to an airplane's wings. The end result is a fully electric drone that can fly up to 15 miles in any direction, carry packages weighing up to five pounds and get the job done in under half an hour. Theoretically, if the item you ordered was already at the distribution center and your house was nearby, you could receive it in a matter of hours. It features the latest in AI technology with anti-collision and smart route selection to create as little disturbance to the surrounding area as possible. Delivery would come in the form of a fully autonomous flight computer, complete with an assessment of the safest landing area when completing the journey, as well as making sure customers stand well clear when taking off again. The rotors are shrouded to prevent any curious customers from sticking their fingers in and finding out exactly how painful a hit from a high RPM rotor really is. All approved, the FAA granted Amazon broad privileges a few months ago to safely and efficiently deliver packages to customers. This is the green light they were waiting for, as they can now roll out a trial of AI drones to start delivering to customers. The certification gives the safety of the delivery drones a huge tick and has prompted rivals UPS to fast-track testing of their own in-house developed delivery drone fleet. Despite the assurance and approval of a legitimate government body, many members of the community are still up in arms about the use of drones. It comes from a combination of misinformation and fearing what is different or what they don't understand. There has been major pushback and lobbying against the use of drones, but do they actually have valid reasons? Keep it private. This is the big one. The reason that pops up time and time again in any conversation involving the flying of drones. Every neighborhood has its fair share of Looney Tunes who are convinced that a drone flyer has nothing better to do than to snoop in on everybody else's lives. Occam's razor speaks true. Out of two explanations that account for all the facts, the simpler one is more likely to be correct. What's more likely, using a drone to spy on other people or literally anything else? The truth is, everyday life just isn't that interesting. Drones are used for a wide variety of things. There are the hobbyists who enjoy flying and racing their drones in a purely recreational sense. Then there are commercial uses. This could be a professional photographer using a drone to get sweeping footage of a real estate project, the surrounding hillside or a sandy beach. It doesn't mean they are filming the ant-sized people below. Building surveyors also use drones to get a bird's eye view of the progress of a big construction project. It's the best tool for the job in order to get an overview of the status of contractor works. These people are just trying to enjoy life or get a job done. They have no interest in what the Karens of the world are making their families for Wednesday night dinner. Eagle Eye. Another common misconception is that a drone somehow has this telescopic lens, able to see a bug on a leaf from a mile away. Most drone complaints come from people using a public space, like a park or a beach. Cops get called, and the poor drone flyer gets all manner of perverse, unfounded and completely fictional accusations heaped onto them. The reality is that most drones have a 1080p camera that sends a signal to a smartphone held in the controls. This camera is good enough to generally see where the drone is going, but nowhere good enough to make out fine detail or objects that are far below. The really high-end drones can shoot in 4K with some degree of zoom, but once again, these are used to record breathtaking panoramic shots as the drone sweeps across the cliffs. 
not picking out bikini-clad sunbathers on a crowded beach. A wide-angle lens increases field of view, not zoom. These people should be worried about the person a block away sporting a $400 DSLR camera with a big telephoto lens on the front of it. Quit that racket! The other big complaint is that the noise from a drone is disruptive. Now, granted, drones can be a bit noisy and have a constant high-pitched whirring buzz when taking off. But honestly, how many drones are flown at ground level? By the time a drone is 30 feet in the air, it's half as audible, and at an altitude of 60 feet, it's as quiet as a church mouse. Even a drone 10 feet away from someone's head is way quieter than a jackhammer or concrete saw on a construction site a block away. Who owns the air? Now, this may be a valid point. Depending on where you live, some places do have a no-fly zone for drones, and that's perfectly okay. What isn't okay is having some idiot losing their mind and screaming, You can't fly that hair! You can't fly that hair! There is plenty of airspace for everyone to share, and a delivery drone will neither fly so high that it takes out a passenger jet, nor fly so low that it will shave a half inch off your haircut. A drone flown 80 to 100 feet away is a drone you can't hear, and is extremely unlikely to be impacting your day-to-day -day life. Think of the animals! The ever-popular fallback eco-argument. It may come as a surprise that many mouth breathers think that a drone is a bigger threat to birds, furry friends, and marine life than the plastic they eat and can't digest, the polluted air they are forced to breathe, and the human effluence they are forced to live in. There has been scientific study done proving that marine mammals such as dolphins and whales can't even hear a flying drone overhead, let alone be bothered by it. Birds are not only scared of drones, but predatory species actively hunt and take out drones, causing them to crash to the ground when they mistake them for an easy prey item. The wrap up. All in all, the hate directed towards drones in lieu of Bob the Friendly Postman boils down to being from two distinct groups of idiots. Those who fear change, and those who are so utterly misinformed that they enact fantasy scenarios in their head about how a drone flying overhead is going to ruin their quality of life. Social media is full of people who claim to know more than the experts, as well as those naive and gullible types who will just as readily believe that the government will use a delivery drone to spy on you, that the earth is flat, or 5G created the coronavirus and causes cancer. The great takeaway is that Amazon's Prime Air is a big winner for all parties involved. The company is able to better service its customer and save on delivery costs, and the consumer gets their products in a much more timely manner. There is no downside, only idiots. After all, it is gonna hate.